well, as you probably heard, pretty impactful storm coming in for the first part of next week. However, it could be some snow as we head toward Friday into Saturday as well, but this will be mainly a mountain event. You can see highest amounts in the Wind River Range, also Tetons. Up here in Yellowstone, it could be a couple inches of snow, though, so heading out for one last trip up there before it shuts down for the year. Be able to look out for some snowflakes there, but impacts from this look pretty minimal. We'll see that snow change to rain as we head through tonight into the first part of tomorrow. Several inches of snow are likely in the higher elevations of the mountains, but this will be mainly above pass level. Can't rule out some slushy conditions, maybe late tonight when we lose the heating of the sun, but this doesn't look to be the big event. The big event will be early next week. Now, one thing we are sure of, it's going to be turned much colder. These are high temperatures on Tuesday compared to what they are today. Many areas 30 degrees colder, so the nice mild weather we've been having lately, that's not going to last. Now, as far as what we think in confidence with that incoming storm for early next week, much colder, that's just about a slam dunk. Wet weather is really likely to through at least Tuesday night, maybe into Wednesday as well. Heavy snow in the mountains, that looks like a very good possibility. A little more possibility for the lower elevations, but I think many areas should see their first accumulating snow. But as we know, devil's in the details. Exact timing of the onset of the snow, many of the miles still have about a 24-hour spread, so we still got to fine-tune that. Now, also, placing the timing of the heaviest snow, especially in the lower elevations, this far out, we can't really nail down exactly where those heavy snow bands are going to set up and the timing of them. Now, the timing and maximum impact, I say probably late Monday night through about Tuesday night would be the best chance for seeing the most impacts, but specifically where the heaviest snow is going to fall, we still don't know yet. We'll have to fine-tune that as we head through the weekend. Have a good day, everybody.